Hello, everybody on the YouTube. Um, so today I'm going to talk about something I did last night. Um, sorry, I know I said I wanted to make a freaking beauty video. Filmed it yesterday, did like a get ready with me. It was a hot mess, but I was going to post it anyways. And my phone seriously just like freaked out and went up the upload the video and my stupid ass deleted the video after I was trying to upload it. So when it just like stopped uploading and disappeared, I couldn't even try again because I deleted it like a retard. Anyways. Oh, okay. So yesterday I had a pretty bad day. Anxiety was like all over the place. Um, freaking, I just had like no energy. I was feeling like crap. What is this freaking hair doing? Definitely washing it later. Sorry, I promise this isn't going to be a video of me just messing with my hair the whole time. <laughs> okay. Um, but no, I just, I had like a really bad day. And... My anxiety was really bad, which lately it hasn't been as bad, um, along with my depression and everything like that. Um, it's been pretty good. I'm able to kind of just like keep it under control, except for yesterday. I just, no, it was awful. It was really bad. So, um, I looked up, I had heard about making like charm jars, um, to help with anxiety and everything like that. So... I found one that I really liked and luckily I had everything for it, but I did kind of switch some stuff around because I'm running low on some herbs that it called for, um, meaning lavender and chamomile. So I switched up some stuff, um, but it was really fun to make. I'm not obviously going to show you how to do it. I already made mine. Normally, they're a lot smaller. They're, like, in those little jars with, like, the cute little corks. But I don't have any of those right now. So I used, I washed out and cleansed um, an old spice jar. I mean, it worked. I like it. It's pretty so far, you know. Even just, like, holding it, rubbing it, you know, like, rubbing the top. It just, it's nice. But, um, anyways... So, the original place that I found this was on Pinterest. Not exactly sure who it's by, not going to lie. I just pretty much wrote down the jar um, items that I needed and then found a anxiety spell slash chant. And so, what I did was, obviously, I got the bottle. The things that it called for was sea salt, bay leaf, coffee, chamomile, sage, lavender, and of course a white candle or some white candle wax. Um, if you just have like some extra wax laying around like I do. Um, so on hers, hers was super pretty but once again it was in one of those little bottles so when she layered it, it stayed layered. Mine kind of tipped over, so everything's all mixed together, but to be honest, it really doesn't bother me. It still looks really pretty. It still, you know, does the job. And, I mean, if you want to, you can actually just mix it all together and throw it in the jar. Um, but the changes that I made is I added um, rose, rosemary, thyme, bay leaf, and sage, as well as the coffee and the salt. Um, I used rock salt instead of sea salt because I didn't have, I don't have sea salt. I only have um, rock salt and then table salt. But rock salt is more natural. It has more magical properties than table salt does. Um, so that's what I used in here. And then I also added, um, I have like a bunch of rose quartz pieces. So I added like some of those in there. There's like a big one right there. There, I think it's like four or five. Um, and then once I did all of that, got everything in the jar, um, I sealed it with candle wax. And all I did was I took some extra wax that I have left over. There's no wick or anything in it, mainly from uh, melted candles. 
Um, I just pretty much just took lighter, lit it until the wax dripped, and just continued to drip it all along, you know, the top till it dripped down the side. So it was kind of like a seal. And then I dripped a little extra and stuck a, another rose quartz on top. Um, rose quartz is good for um, healing, love, happiness, um, calming, and everything like that. So that's why I chose to use that. Plus, like I said, I have like a lot of rose quartz um but anyway so after I made it <clears throat> I believe it was like a 93 94 percent full moon last night so I stuck it in my windowsill um just on the corner to charge under the full moon so it would get the energy from the moon and then this morning when I woke up I just um took my white candle sat on my bed held it, you know, um, just set this on here, held the jar, and then, um, I did the spell, or I guess it's more so a chant. It could really be used for both, to be honest. You can either just sit here and chant it, close your eyes, get into, like, sort of a meditative state, and just chant it to help you calm down with your anxiety, but I did this more of a spell on the jar. That way it has more of those um, anti-anxiety properties. Um, but yeah, so I just sat here. I did that. I was holding the jar like this with my eyes closed. Um, and then I ended up just raising my hands and putting it over the jar. Trying to transfer some of my energy into it. And honestly, after I did that, I felt freaking fantastic. These things are super cool. My husband actually lost my who's freaking sweetest. I was just sitting there, you know, like doing my little witchy crafts like on the floor in the living room. And he starts giggling and he was on his phone. And I was like, what are you doing over there? And he's like, oh, just ordering stuff. And I was like, what'd you order? And he's like, it's a surprise. So I was like, no, just tell me. And he ordered me a bunch of those little bottles with the corks so I can make my oils in there. I can make like little charm bottles. I can make just like herb mixtures for certain things. And he also got me a little um, crystal ball uh, so I can get more into scrying. It was really freaking sweet. It made me really, really happy. <laughs> but um, yeah, so chances are I'll probably keep this one but remake one. And one of the little bottles when they come in, that way I can take it with me. I can turn it into a necklace. I could wear it. I could just keep it in my purse, keep it in my pocket. Um, whenever I need to, just grab it off my altar and just hold it. I mean, obviously this one's pretty big. Someone's going to be like, what the fuck are you holding the spice bottle for? But I don't, I don't care. Chances are until I get those in and until I make another one, the, this will be coming with me. It will stay in my purse. Um... But, yeah, you can make them for protection, you can make them for love, for uh, friendship, for happiness. You can even make, like, little hex ones to keep away, like, bad energy. If someone comes in and they're, like, trying to harm you or they're just coming in with, like, uh, really negative energy, that'll pretty much, like, banish them away and it will prevent that bad energy or that harm from coming to you. And ruining your positivity and your positive vibes and everything. At least that's an understanding. Once again, still new. If there's other Wiccans, Pagans, or Witches watching this, I'm sorry if I'm getting anything wrong. Still learning. This is just stuff I've learned from researching through books, watching people on YouTube, researching stuff online, um, freaking finding stuff on Pinterest. Like, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying here. <laughs> But, um, yeah, so I just wanted to talk a little bit about that. I just thought it was, like, a cool little idea I would share. Plus, I want to get another video up because I posted one, like, a week ago, and I've been wanting to post another one, a beauty one. And, like I said, I recorded it yesterday, and my phone just took a crap and just didn't want to upload it. So, I'll probably try to get another one. Um, I'll try to make another beauty video probably on Monday. But we'll see how it goes. I also plan on doing an unboxing slash un enveloping because it's coming in an envelope. I ordered a mystery envelope off of Etsy. And to my knowledge, it's going to come with five herbs 
a crystal, which I'm hoping that she's awesome enough. I asked for an amethyst because I really, really want one. And I'm hoping that she can put it in there. Um, but it comes with, the uh, yeah, five herbs, crystal, um, an oil in a bottle, probably about like that big. Um, four candles or a Reiki candle, a spell kit, and then two to three like little extras. So I'll probably be like unboxing that um, and then talking about her Etsy store a little bit. No, I am not sponsored at all. Nobody even knows who I am. So yeah, she's just like really cool. She's the first person that I bought anything from uh, Wiccan related and I absolutely loved it. It was perfect. Came with everything I needed to get started. Packaged beautifully, she includes um, really cool little like notes on the bags of herbs, on the um, God and Goddess candle that I got, and um, the crystals that the bags come in. There's also like a little note on there, and it tells you their magical properties, as well as the chakra that it correlates with. And then on the herbs, it tells you the magical properties of the herbs, as well as the medical properties. And then the God, is go the God and Goddess candle um, have little notes on pretty much just ideas of how you can invoke them if you're casting a circle or if you want them to work with you or anything like that. Um, but yeah, so thank you for watching my video if anybody watched this video. <laughs> um, once again, I will try to have another video up on Monday. By the way, that one subscriber, whoever the heck you are. You made my freaking day when I seen that I had a subscriber. I don't know who it is. Makes me super freaking happy though. Someone cared enough and liked that video enough that they freaking subscribed. Oh my god. Um, but yeah. Alright. See y'all later.